Today we're learning about journey map and this goes beyond agile practice. A journey map, a process map, uh, user story mapping, all these mappings essentially is the ability to visualize the experience of achieving a goal. Normally involves your products and services and bunch of teams, processes and, and different sections that either that product and service goes through and who's going to be using it and who is part of it in each section of the process. Essentially, what it does is tells the story, the story of that customer, key, even key application, how it goes through different sections, that experience, the story of that progress through different touch points between, let's say, the customer and the organization from inception or from the customer going through the sales funnel from initial perhaps marketing efforts through all the way to purchase fulfillment uh, the ability to receive that product if that's the case into their home the billing process and all throughout from support all the way back into potential renewal so having that holistic sort of story multi touch point in a visual way that experience from the user point of view that being like a human or again different systems and applications what you are able to see is being able to craft the happy path uh, find the gaps of it and have a logic breakdown with multiple inputs from team members and influence areas and other teams so that you all come together see gain understanding able to digest and create this artifact that's going to clarify that you are going to craft evolve over time so that the process in itself becomes better there is few sections of journey map but when you're creating this effort to come together and craft it in a visual manner, you're going to need to consider. One is the ability to have multidisciplinary teams, right? So you're going to need to align and expose how the thing works from different teams. Let's say if you are looking at end-to-end -end from inception of purchase all the way to fulfillment, you may want to include people from sales and service. And so you can see the whole operations across multiple departments. Another section is, is about having those conversations beyond the tactical or the potential current state so that the effort of journey mapping actually becomes a conversation about where you're going to invest in your efforts, the resources and, and the time uh, coming up so that you can focus into what's going to bring the most impact. And that will be impact in line with your goals. Are we looking at customer retention, reducing cost, or being able to evade other side costs, increase sales? Another important area of doing this effort of mapping is being able to see those gaps. Right? We talk about happy path, but also to find the gaps. So having a visual representation of the whole process where you can see on that flow you could be adding decision elements when this happens what if this happens right then it goes through that path having that visual element of a decision point is going to highlight when you don't have any logic or anything or any manual process set up for when the happy path when that logic does not equal true so that exposes some moments of you know those gaps or what could generate gaps in the process and dissatisfaction. So that's really valuable information and it's really valuable conversations that will surface from doing this visual coming together effort. Journey mapping also increases empathy for the end user, that audience, um, all the different parts that are involved in the process. How is the experience of that product, of that service? Uh, how is the experience of the assets and their feelings of all parties involved? Right? So empathy, it is important. Now, because 
journey mapping is going to expose gaps. It gives you a great opportunity to capture potential enhancements, right? Where are you going to invest your efforts? Where is the innovation possibilities over here? And last but not least, then you have the ability to analyze and model where are you going to focus for impact? Right? So having that artifact, that visual representation of the whole process, it's going to give you the ability to surface the conversation of where are we going to get the most impact? Because we having lots of ideas of how the process is going to be better, that's great. But where are you going to get the most return for your efforts? Oh, it's about the art of maximizing the work not done. Right? So out of all these myriad of ideas, which one is going to take us closer to our OKRs, our key impact metrics? And out of those, which ones are most feasible, which ones have shorter turnaround, which one's going to impact wider stake? And how are you going to measure that is not only about designing something new, but also how can you embed some proactive monitoring on a section of that improvement? So it's not all or nothing, it's about evolving over time. So it is pretty powerful, this journey mapping. So you have your different phases of the process that this flow that you're crafting is going to show. It, you have a layer about the different actions that's happening in its face. And then you could also craft some of the current state of affairs in terms of if you're looking at customer satisfaction, what are the touch points and what is those thoughts, feelings, or happiness level throughout the process. So that's going to help you to gauge and make informed decisions of where you're investing the next effort for its improvement. So that is it. That's for today, a quick brief about journey mapping, yes, story mapping, process mapping, all these different things that we do. Super important to use visuals to help people to see the same information to align for it to become a live artifact that you are going to be evolving at the time that you can refer back to help remind this conversation. Hope it's useful. You can subscribe on the site and also just pop any other follow-up questions or comments just down below. 